So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve linear algebraic expressions. So we're going to be trying to find what the value of whatever letter we've chosen. So X in this case, I've actually chosen for all the examples. Um, so I'm going to work through a few different examples and then I'm just going to do one at the end that has a, a practical application of this. Um, so first of all, if you take this first example, we're trying to find two times what number minus six will give you 10. So the way you work it out, you move, you keep all your x's on this side of the line. So we want our x's here. And then we want our constants here. So constants are just numbers like 10 or minus 6. X's are, and I should highlight that, they're a variables. Because x doesn't have a value yet. We're trying to figure out what it is. So... What you do is you come down to your next line, you can put in an arrow here to just show you've moved into the next line, and then you keep your x there. And what you do is you move your minus six over, and if you move any of your letters over to the other side, what you need to do is change their symbol. So you move your minus six over there, and it'll become a plus six. So you're gonna have equals 10 plus six, and then go to your next line. You're gonna have, still have your two x there, you're going to have then 10 plus 6, and that's going to give us 16. The next thing we want to do, now you can do this even in your head. If you think 2 times what number gives you 16? So you can actually see that that is um, 2 times 8 would give you 16. But the way that you'll systematically work it out is to just divide both sides by whatever number will make this into x. So if you divide 2 by 2, you're going to get, I'll put it down below. You don't have to write out this step every time, but I'll put it in here. You're going to get... 2 into 2 is going to give you 1, which will just give you x on its own. And then 2 into 16 is going to give us 8. So at the very final line, then you're going to get x is equal to 2 into 16 then, which is going to give you 8. And you'll see if you put that back into your original equation, that it'll work out, say, 2 times 8 will give you 16. 16 minus 6 gives you 10 then, which is correct. So the next example is similar. So in this one, I'm going to move, but in this one, I'm going to have to actually move my X back over onto this side. So what I'm going to be doing is taking, let's do this in yellow here. So I'll be taking my minus two, moving it over here. And then I'll be taking my, just move this down for a second. I'll be taking my plus seven and I'll be moving it over onto this side. So it's there with the 42. So my next line then will be three X, Keep that there, and then we move our minus 2 over, and we move it, we need to change it to a plus 2x. Then that's equal to 42, and in this case, it's minus 7. We move our 7 over, and instead of being a plus, it becomes a minus. Our next line, then, we're going to combine our x's. So we're going to get 3x plus 5. 2x gives us 5x, and then we're going to end up getting 42 minus 7, which gives us 35. And finally, what we can do is we can divide both sides by 5. So this by 5, and then divide this by 5, so that this becomes x on its own. So we get this. 5 into 5 goes 1, so we just get x there is equal to 5 into 35 goes 7. So you can see our answer then is x is equal to plus 7. The next example is, is similar as well. And this time I just changed the letter that I'm using. So I'm using an N this time, but don't worry about that. If you ever see a different letter, it's just uh, you treat it the exact same. And um, it's the exact same as an X. You can just use any letter to stand for the variable thing that you're trying to find. So for this one, you're gonna have to multiply out our brackets first and then solve it like we solved the other ones. So first three by M gives us, put in my arrow here. So we've got three M. Then we've got a plus by a minus, that's going to give us a negative 3. Then that's equal to 18 minus, minus 5 by m gives us minus 5m. Minus 5 by plus 1 is going to give us a negative again, and that's going to give us negative 5. The next thing we do is move all our letters to this side, and then move all our numbers to this side. So for our next line, this time we're going to take... I'll just highlight the ones I'm going to move. Minus 5m, I'm going to move over here. And then minus 3, I'm going to move over in this side. So it's going to become a plus 3. Just going to move it right down to the end, like so. So what I'm going to end up doing is 3m, 
leave that where it is. Minus 5m is going to become a plus 5m is equal to 18 minus 5. You can combine them right now, but we'll leave them just for the end, very end. So minus 3 will give you plus 3 because we're moving it from this side, so we have to change the symbol on it. So the very final thing then we're going to do is take 3 plus 5 is going to give us 8m is equal to 18 minus 5 gives us um, 13. 13 plus 3 then is going to give us 16. So we get 8m is equal to 16. And the final one then you're going to divide both sides by 8. So I'll just put that down. You don't have to write in this step every time, but I'll put it in here just so you can see it. So 8m divided by that, that's going to give us m. And that's m is equal to 2. Now the next example we've got this four sided figure and what i've done is i've just represented this is um this side has a length of three times some number minus three this side here has two times some number plus one this is three times this the length of this is three times some number plus six and then this is four times some number which is called x minus two we're told the total perimeter is 38 centimeters so that means let's move it to the side here that means if I add up this length, this length, this length, and this length, I'm going to get 38. So the way I can write an equation for that is I can take this plus this. I'm going to write them now. 3x minus 3, which is the first one. Next one, plus 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. The next equation then, 3x plus 6. We're going to add that on. Plus 3x plus 6. Six and then finally our last side four x minus two plus four x minus two and then we've been told the perimeter if we add them all together we know now that that is thirty eight because we're given that now we need to solve this then just like any of the other questions we did so we just go keep our x's on this side so I'll just highlight my x's so I know what to keep x that's a two x three x and four x so what we'll do is we'll actually combine all of these now first of all. So three, we'll actually combine everything and then move our numbers over this side. Or you could move over the numbers. There's two different ways to do it. But we'll, we'll combine them and then move them over. So 3x plus 2x gives us 5x. Plus another 3x gives us 8x. Plus another 4x. That gives us 12x. So 12x. And I'll keep that highlighted red so you can see where it came from. Um, the next thing we're going to do is take our numbers and just combine them. So again, you could move them over at this point and then combine them, but I'm going to just combine them first and then move them over. So for this one, I'm going to get minus 3 plus 1 gives us minus 2. Minus 2 plus 6 is going to give us plus 4. Plus 4 minus 2 is going to give us 2. So we're going to get plus 2 here. Then the next thing we're going to do is going to put in our equal sign. I actually forgot to put in my arrow just to show us on a new line here. That's equal to 38 because we don't have to simplify anything here. So the next stage we're going to do is move our keep our x's on one side. So we're going to move our 2 over to this side and it's going to become a negative 2. So we're going to get 38 minus 2. Last thing then we're going to do 12x is equal to 36. And then for the very, very final stage, just like we did in the last questions, we're going to divide 12 into both sides. So if you divide 12 into 12, you're going to get x on its own. And then 12 is into 36 gives you 3. So you can try that yourself. If you go back and you sub 3 into all of these, um, you're going to end up getting your area. And actually, just for the sake of it, you don't have to do this. So you can check your answers at the back of the book if you're doing it. But what we'll do is we'll actually just test out and just see is that correct. What if I stuck in, what if I put x into all of these, would it be equal to 38? So just to show you this, um, you're going to get 3x minus 3. And actually, so you can see we have our equation down here. And what, what we're going to do is just going to take our x's and then we're going to replace them with the answer we got 3. And it should all work out then. So this is going to be 3 times 3 minus 3 plus I'll just put in my arrow here plus two times replace that replace x with three again 
plus one, plus this time x is gonna be replaced by three again, plus six, plus four times x replaced with three, three minus two, and that's equal to 38. I'll just move that up a little bit. So in this case, we're gonna get three times three is gonna give us nine. Minus three plus six plus one plus three by three gives us nine again. Plus six plus four by three is gonna give us 12 minus two is equal to 38. So we get nine minus three gives us six plus six, that gives us 12 plus another one, that gives us 13 plus nine, that gives us 22 plus six, that gives us 28 um, plus 12 gives us 28, gives us 40 and then 40 minus two gives us 38. So we're left with 38 is equal to 38.